Deputy President and SADC facilitator Cyril Ramaphosa is back in Lesotho where he will once again try to defuse the power tensions in the Mountain Kingdom. The main political players are still bickering over key government appointments and are violating the agreement facilitated by Mr Ramaphosa. Elections were brought forward by two years following an attempted coup in August last year that forced SADC to intervene. A mere few weeks before Basutu go to vote, but the country remains on tenterhooks following Sunday's shooting that left the security guard dead and two soldiers shot and wounded. The political protagonists remain at loggerheads despite months of mediation. They accuse each other of failing to honor SADC facilitated agreements. Over the past few months, Lesotho's warring factions signed several agreements as part of a roadmap towards February 28 elections and a new government. The agreements barred the removal, the appointment, the demotion and promotion of key officials. But Lesotho's Prime Minister went ahead and made high-profile appointments. We see the Prime Minister violating that with impunity. He continues to make those senior appointments. So I think on our part, we see that really as creating, uh, as poisoning the climate. I don't know what the agreement is all about that stops us from filling essential uh, vacancies by taking the next man to fill a vacancy when it occurred. What you normally do when you fill vacancies where controversies arise is when... Uh, there is a number two, and you go and appoint a number six somewhere through some process. But if you fill the post with number two so that government can continue to function, then that is fine. It's unclear whether the two parties will eventually find one another. SADC facilitator Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to arrive later today to continue with the mediation efforts. Yudhisan Jamela, SABC News, Maseru, Lesotho.